Hi, I'm Warren, minister at Greenford Baptist Church. Um, welcome to you. Uh, it's been actually a few weeks since I've been doing a midweek recording, um, and uh, normally it's uh, Liz Robertson, uh, my colleague, who has been doing them. It is Friday the 15th of May as I record this, uh, even though this goes out uh, next week. And uh, this is part one of uh, two talks, all based on Psalm 23. So I want to read the first three verses of uh, the psalm for part one, and uh, you'll have to come back in two days' time uh, for part two. Um, and uh, I just want to take some short reflections and, and hope you can uh, pick up on uh, something that God may well be saying to you. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths bringing honour to his name. So the Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. As I've mulled on that particular verse one, I have all that I need. And I go back and go, well, why is that then? Well, because the Lord is my shepherd. Okay, so what does shepherd mean? And I sort of break it down eventually. And well, a shepherd provides. Shepherd provides the food, the shelter. The shepherd provides for the sheep or for the cattle. And, and, and we are God's sheep as such in this imagery here that's being used. Uh, we, are, we are sheep, but we know we are more than sheep in God's sight. We're actually his children. So actually... The Lord is our shepherd, but he's also our father and our carer. Um, and for some, he can also be a mother um, in, in some imagery for some people. But he gives to us all that is required. So therefore, then, we do have all that we need. Now, it days it doesn't feel like it that might be for some today in the midst of this uh, 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 lockdown that as the point that I'm recording this some measures have been slightly eased and there's uh, this um, uh, what the government are calling the road map to hopefully uh, getting us out of this as much as possible for some it has not felt like you have all that you need you might well have, unfortunately, not been furloughed, but have actually lost your job. Or even if you've been furloughed, you've lost 20% of your, your pay. And that might have put you into serious financial difficulties. It could well be that you have just felt trapped at home. You may well have been asked to shield and you feel trapped and unable to get out and unable to do what you would like to do. So therefore you feel like, well, I've not got all I need. For some of us, um, we've had to carry on working, those on the front line, those, those working, um, who are providing essential care, those providing in the supermarkets, those providing all different kinds. You've actually had to go the, to work or you've had to work from home and... And there's been an element of you saying, well, I'd rather be at home, <laughs> not working. I'd rather be like a last portion of the population, not having to think about work. And so sometimes it can feel like, well, I don't have all that I need. Unfortunately for most of us, if I'm honest with myself, all that I need is normally more like it's because it's what I want rather than what I need. But 
the Lord does supply all our needs. But not just in material terms. He supplies all our needs, more importantly, I would say, spiritually. The Good Shepherd, the Good Father, supplies all our spiritual needs. So even in the midst of all those various scenarios that I've described that can cause us to feel like we do not have all we need, we can still go to the Good Shepherd who can provide us with the one thing that we do need, which is spiritual peace, spiritual strength. And I suppose this is where we get this then. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. So here we have this complete imagery of where the good shepherd actually says, well, come along, come, come, and, come here, come and... Come and just be in, in, and rest in this green meadow. Just be in this green meadow. Be in this uh, green area of where you can just rest and really do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. Just play. I, I'm giving you permission to, to... This is a meadow that I have provided. Now, you could be sitting there saying, but Warren, you're talking from West London. And yeah, I absolutely agree with you. There are quite a few green spaces in West London. But... Um, but I like the idea of the Lord sort of saying, come on, go and rest in this meadow, go go chill out, go relax, go go do whatever else. Because I've provided this is a place of peace. It's a place as I as the shepherd, I'm standing at the gate protecting you. It could be a place where you need to run to, sort of within your mind and within the spirit in prayer and say, Lord, I need rest right now. I need peace right now. I need to feel like the world is not going around in turmoil in my head. And, and the Lord says, well, Come and rest then. This, I give you permission. And actually, I love this. He leads me. He lets me rest. It's not like the Lord said, keep working, keep going. He's going, I'm letting you rest. Rest. We don't allow ourselves to rest. We think we need to have something else. We need to tag something else on to our relationship with the Lord. We need to bolt some extra bits on but it actually says the lord is my shepherd therefore he is my provider therefore he is my place that i should run to all times i don't think i've ever probably ever seen when an animal's being fed by a shepherd let's just say in this case at the moment i've never actually seen an animal turn around and go now nah, you're all right thanks very much I'm going to pop over here and I'm going to actually not feed off of you today. I've decided I'm not going to bother doing that because I don't feel it's worthy enough or something. No animal sits there thinking, I don't think I'm worthy enough to feed the hay or to eat the grass. An animal? Vomp. Straight in. Yeah, give me whatever you've got. Why, why do we treat our Lord, the Shepherd, who says, I've got everything you need. Why do we think we're not worthy enough to go and take it? Jesus made us worthy. And the Lord is always offering it up to us. He's saying, come and be in peace. Come and let me renew your strength for you. And the reason that we then discover that we have all that we need, when we then discover this rest, when we discover how we can be beside peaceful streams, is because the Lord, as a good shepherd, and we as the good sheep follow him, are being led down good and right paths. Not ones that are going to take us into brambles. Not ones that are going to take us across rocky ground. Not ones where the shepherd is saying, please don't go down there. Don't, don't go down there. As we follow our Lord, as we allow him to guide us, we will be taken down these right paths. And what's interesting, as the Lord is doing this, is actually bringing honour to his name. 
Now, I used to read that quite often as, yes, he's bringing honour to his name. He's bringing honour so that he can be seen to be the good shepherd. And I'm thinking, by who? Well, everybody else. Everybody else outside. And then I realised, well, no. Actually, he's bringing honour to his name for us to praise him and thank him as we walk along. But also, he's bringing honour to his own name because he promised to look after us and and the Lord can't go back on his own promises the Lord if the Lord reneges on his own covenant on his own promise then he's not bringing honor to his own name he's actually bringing dishonor to his name to himself so if the Lord does all of this this peace this spiritual peace this beside peaceful streams this 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 renewing of your strength he does it for his name's sake as it says in other versions he does it because he has to be true to himself so just on these three verses i'd like you to reflect on the fact that when you come to the lord to be fed by him, to be um, renewed by him, to be led into peaceful places. It's something he desires to do. So come to him. I don't know what's going on for you by the time you're, you're watching this. Uh, it might be you're starting to gear up to go back to work and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I've actually got to go back to work. Um, one part of you is excited, the other part of you might be fearful. Remember with the Lord, you have all that you need. There is no need for a bolt on. You have all that you need because the Lord is your shepherd. God bless to you.